In this video, we are going to discuss about string functions in Java. But firstly, we must know that what is a Java string? What do we mean by a Java string? So in Java, a string is an object that represents a sequence of characters. So any particular object that represents a sequence of characters or char values is known as a Java string. For that, we import the class java.lang.string. This particular class has all the methods and the constructor that are used to create a Java string object. Now there are two ways to create a string object by using the string literal. Now the Java string literal is created by using double quotes. For example, in the data types video, we have already studied that we can declare a string like this string s. And for example, I'm writing my own name. So like this also, we can create a string literal is created by using the double quotes. Or we can create a, a string object with the help of new keyword, which we have studied in classes and object also that for creating any new object of a class, let's say here we have string class. So we can do it like this also that string s and we are creating a new object. So we have to use the new keyword and then we create a new string and here we can write the name or anything you want to write hello world welcome you can write so these are the two ways for creating a string object you can do it with a string literal also and you can do it with the help of new keyword also now this particular java.lang string class has many constructors and methods which can be used in the string class or which can be used to see the functionality of string class so this particular method when you import this method there comes several methods when you import this particular package or class there come several methods and the first method is the string length now as the name suggests this method tells the length of the string that what is the exact length of the string and what it returns this particular method it returns the integer or the total number of the count of the characters present in the string it returns as the count let's say in this particular name there are seven characters okay one two three four five six seven so if this particular string dot length is used let's say here we have initialized a string and then what we're going to use we are going to use the dot length method so how can i use that i will simply write s dot length in the sop statement so this statement when executed system dot out print a length and this function is executed method s dot length then it will return me the value seven that the exact count is seven in the string as there are seven letters or the seven characters present in the string next function which we have is compare to now where is this compare to function used now as the name suggests it compares the given string with any particular other string let's say we have two string initialized firstly i have initialized string s and i have named it as hello and i have initialized another string as string s1 and i have named this as welcome so these are the true strings which i have initialized now next what it is going to do i have to compare and the method is taught to compare so in the system dot out print ln statement what i'm going to write is s1 to which string you want to compare to you will mention here compare to and the method or the string s2 so the comparison will be done if both are equal then what will it return it will return that zero because both are equal minus one if the particular string has only one time then the lower if there is anything change in the string that it will return or for the greater it will return any positive value so this is how it is going to do so it compares the given strength with the current string the comparison actually happens of both the string if both the strings are equal so here the strings are not equal so what it is going to do it is obviously going to return a negative value because the string 
first string is of course smaller and it will return a negative number. If it returns 0, then what will happen? Both the strings are equal. And if it returns a positive number, then what will happen? That the string 1 is greater or the count is greater actually. So, comparison can be not done and they are obviously not equal. So, it will return a positive number. Next function which is having in this particular string class is string concat. Now the concat method, what it does? It combines a specific string at the end of another string and returns the combined string altogether. For example, if this S1 string which we have initialized here is having welcome and I want to do concat. So how will I do that? S1 will get concatenated and how? S1 dot concat and in the parenthesis you have to mention that what is the string or what is the sequence of character you want to concat. Let's say hello how are you and then with the help of the SOP statement system dot out print ln statement you can print the S1 string so it will return. The next function which we have in the particular string class is to check if the string is empty. So for that we have is empty function or we can say the method. So java string is empty method checks that the contained string or the variable is actually having any string or is it empty. For example, if I initialize a string here s and I just leave the double quotes like this, I do not enter anything and I initialize another string s1 and I write something here. And when in the SOP statement, system.outprintln statement, I want to check that if s dot is empty, then what it is going to return me? It is going to return me that yes, it is true. String s is actually empty. And for s2 when I am going to check, for same, for let's say for s1 I am going to check, my variable is s1 for string, then what it is going to return? It is going to return the false values. That yes, this is not empty, it is having certain set of characters. There is another method in Java that is Java string trim. Now what do this trim method does? So trim, as the name suggests, removes the leadings and the trailing spaces. It checks the unicode value of the space character and the unicode of the space character we know that it is exactly u0020. This is the unicode character and if it is present before or after the string, if it exists, then it removes the spaces and returns the omitted string. For example, it returns that particular or it trims that particular value from the string it and it actually eliminates the spaces if there are any space in the string. And then for that we use any particular string such as if I want to trim the s1 string which I have given in the previous function is empty. So I have to write simply s1 dot trim. If I do that then it will remove this particular leading spaces which are there and if there are any trailing spaces also it will remove those particular spaces. Next is a very simple method that is to lowercase and to upper. Now we all know the lowercase and upper case that if I write if I write the two lower, then that will change my string to the, all the characters will be changed to the lower case. And if I write two upper, then my string will be changed to the upper case. This is very simple. Any string you can write and then you can use the method s1 dot lower case or two lower case or you can write s1 to upper case. So this is very simple, it just changes the actual format of the string, it converts all the character of the string for uppercase or vice versa. Next we have several other functions or the methods in the string classes also such as replace for replacing any particular string with the sequence of character or we can also check that if the particular string contains any particular sequence of character or not. For example here I am writing for any particular string S1. hello how are you now if i want to check that this particular string contains u or not then how i'm going to check for example this string is s1 so i'm going to check with the name s1 dot contains 
and for what I'm going to check, I'm going to check for you. So it just contains or not. If it contains, then it will return you true value or else it will return you false value in the system.outprintLN statement. So there are several methods in the string classes. And now let us implement a program to see that how can we check those particular functionalities. And up till now, I've discussed the methods that I'm going to implement in a program. Now here you can see that I have written a very simple code for using several functions of string class. Firstly, after importing java.lang.string package, what I have done is I have created a string s named hello and I have created a string name s1, how are you? And I have given here spaces so that I can use the trim function. So firstly, we have discussed the functions and that I have written in the same order, the length, comparison, concatenation of both the string to check if the string is empty, s string is empty or not, trim and then add this particular string concatenated lowercase uppercase s1 contains u or s1 ends with hello these are the particular function which i am going to check the methods so as i run this particular example dot java file of mine it shows me that the length of the string s is 5 and when the comparison is done then of course string 1 is having no comparison they're both not same so it is returning me positive value for it Hello, how are you? The concatenation of both the string. In concatenation, the spaces are not removed. But if you see this particular trim, then these particular leading spaces of how are you have been removed and then it has been concatenated with good day. Similarly, is empty, so it has returned the false value. To uppercase, it has changed the S value to the uppercase also and similarly for the lower cases. And lastly, S1 contains you. Yes, the string contains you. Here you can see that S1 is having how are you. So it contains you. S1 dot end with hello. That is it ending with hello. So it is returning false because it is not ending with hello. By the end of this video, we are done with the string in Java and several methods for the implementation of string class.